Hi YouTube, in this video we're gonna animate some SVGs with GSAP. We're not gonna use motion path, we're just gonna do this with animating the strokes of the SVG when the page loads. So it's gonna be something like this, it's gonna be super cool, very very easy to do, so let's get to it. Alright, so again this video is gonna be super simple, uh, we're gonna get an SVG here on this blank project and then we're gonna animate it with some simple GSAP code to make it appear in or get drawn in the page. So let's see how to do that. Now I have this blank project, I have just two the blocks uh, one of them being an SVG container that is set to 100 dynamic view height and here is where I'm gonna add my SVG and I'm gonna use SVG import this uh, workflow app to import my SVG basically but first I need to have make some edits on the SVG so I'm gonna go to Figma and I'm gonna drag in that SVG so it's this one here and uh, perhaps I'm just gonna flip it horizontally because I want it to face the other direction and now I'm just gonna have a look so in this case I have my SVG with the property of fill so this is what's filling the colors and I want to have it in uh, stroke property so I'm just gonna go to this group that's holding all the elements here and I'm gonna flatten it as you can see now, it's more or less one uh, element here on Figma. And then I'm going to add a stroke and I'm going to remove the fill. As you can see, it's more or less the same now. In some SVGs, this might not work perfectly because you'll need the fill, but then you'll need to adjust your code accordingly. But in this case, I'm just going to copy this one as it is. And I'm just going to go to copy paste as and I'm going to copy it as SVG. Now this is uh, something you can do in Figma, which is great because then we'll just paste it in on the SVG import Waffle app. So copy as SVG and then here we paste it. This video is video day 13 of the 100 days of Webflow challenge. If you're enjoying this type of content, do consider subscribing to the channel. There is a lot of more videos on the way and I'm sure you're going to like them. Now let's get back to the project. All right, now that we have it here, I'm just going to make sure that it's full height. So here, as you can see in the settings, I have width to be 100%, but I'm going to set this to be height 100% instead. And I'm going to center this SVG container so that we have this owl in the center. Great, so now we can start animating. So if we go to our SVG, we can see that our SVG is an element with an SVG tag. And then inside it, there is a mask and there are a lot of paths. And inside the mask, there are paths. And this is basically what makes this uh, visual here. Now I want to go to my custom code or page code embed. And I'm going to go to before closing body tag and I'm going to get uh, the GSAP code. So first thing, we're going to get the library code and then I'm going to paste in the script. So I'm just going to get the script here. I'm going to leave this in the description below. You can check it out. I'm going to leave uh, the clonable and uh, the script snippet so you can also copy that one. So this script is pretty simple. I'm setting up an attribute called data animate equal SVG. So whatever data attribute is going to get animated. And then I'm looking for the path length, so the length of these lines. And then I'm animating that on a duration of 5 seconds with GSAP and with this ease. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's save this. And uh, so it's data animate SVG. So we go to our SVG and we're going to add the attribute data animate and the value of SVG. Now we publish and let's see how this works out. All right, so now we go to the live version and we can see that there's this animation here where the lines are getting drawn in. Pretty cool. So if you're liking this video and you're liking this type of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned on the video tomorrow. It's going to be super nice. See you tomorrow.